Gateway Plastics receives raw plastics material, commonly known as resin, in bulk rail cars. This transportation method saves thousands of truckloads of material from being hauled across the nation's roadways. The resin is then delivered to large silos for further distribution. Each silo holds between 110,000 and 210,000 pounds of raw material. Raw resin is precisely distributed through a computer-controlled system of piping to individual surge bins. This resin is then delivered to the injection molding machine via the same type of piping. After introduction to the hopper, the resin is mixed with liquid colorant. The mixture is melted and mixed into a homogenous blend that is injected into the cavities of the tooling. After the parts are cooled, the mold opens and the parts are presented to the first stage of automation. This first stage of automation is commonly called end-of-arm tooling. Parts are then robotically transferred via a series of transfer and lay-down arms to a specialized conveying system called a pocket conveyor. Sorter bowls use servo motors and vibratory controls to consistently feed lids to the pick-and-place station. The pick-and-place arms are fitted with vacuum cups to effectively grip the parts and place them accurately every time. We perform the initial quality check for complete assemblies at this point. After assembly, the parts are presented to a conveyor that automatically sends the assembled parts two at a time to the next step of the process. Parts are conveyed to the top of a 24 foot tall cooling conveyor via 1600 feet of conveyor belting. Cooled parts are then sent to the liner machine. On the way, they are reoriented through a special feed screw to properly orient with the liner machine. We ensure perfect alignment and orientation of the parts to the lining machine using more of the specialized feed screws. We pre-punch the liner to avoid the use of adhesives in the assembly. This ensures 100% recyclability and helps assure food safety during product filling at the customer's filling site. We then use a simple mechanical cam system to press fit the liner into the assembled parts. Liner waste is chopped into small pieces to aid recyclability at the liner supplier. We use high-speed cameras to detect liner defects such as missing liners, liner splices, off-center liners, or unacceptable levels of liner dust. Parts are then reoriented to assist with packaging into containers. Complete assemblies are then presented to the packaging robot via indexing conveyors. An array head on the packaging robot picks 112 parts at a time for packaging into the shipping container. The six-axis robot then places the parts into the container and adds a slip sheet between layers of parts. These slip sheets are used to stabilize the container for shipment to the customer. Full containers of parts are then stacked and stored in our climate controlled warehouse. When Gateway receives the customer order, parts are loaded and shipped to our customers. Next stop, baby food containers at the customer's filling line. From raw resin to finished product in less than a minute.